This is my second middleweight prediction of the night. This one is for the WBA and IBO middleweight title fight between champion Gennady Golovkin and challenger uh, Gregors Proxa, which is also um, this weekend in America. Um, this is another great middleweight fight. Just another of the, what was it, three or four really fantastic middleweight uh, title fights which are coming up. Um, Golovkin is the WBA and IBO champion. Obviously, he's not really the WBA champ because that's Felix Stern, but he's the WBA bullshit champion. Um, but that doesn't mean he isn't good. And uh, Proxer is the European champ. And, of course, the video I just did was um, for the IBF and WBA proper champion. Uh, and there's other middleweight fights coming up soon between Martinez and Chavez, which I've already done a video on. And I think Dimitri Pirol, the WBO champion, is meant to be defending his title soon, but I can't remember again who against. But anyway, middleweight is starting to finally get good after years of it being really mediocre. Um, so yeah, this fight, Golovkin and Proxa, again, who are you picking in this one? Because this is another 50-50 fight. Um, just fantastic. And just like the Gil Stern fight, it's another really close contest Who, where you'll be very brave to pick a winner. Um... I'm sure the bookies have probably got Golovkin as odds on fave. In fact, I did check it out earlier and I think Golovkin was like 1-3. to three. But don't let those odds put you off betting on Proxa, if you're a betting person, because I don't see it that way at all. I see it more as something like, you know, 4-6 to six on Golovkin and maybe something like 2-1 to one Proxa. But it's not a, you know, it's not a, a, a foregone conclusion. Golovkin has probably beaten a slightly better level of opponents, but I say slightly because if you go for his record, you wouldn't have heard of many. I mean, like, Golovkin, I've got my computer down here. I mean, he's beaten some guy called Fuki Gianni, I hadn't really heard of him. Lajuan or Lajuan Simon or Simon, I've heard of him, but he's not that great. Kasimuma, very much past his best, and that's about it, really. So... Golovkin, the reason why he's the favourite is because of his performances in the ring. It's got nothing to do with who he's beaten, because whoever's in charge of him, I don't know who his promoter is, to be honest, but whoever's in charge of him is a muppet, because he's been boxing now as a pro for six years, six years, and he hasn't yet beaten an elite fighter, hasn't even got in the ring with someone who's elite. Embarrassment. I mean, six years. He made his debut in... Uh, in fact, I think it might be longer. He made his debut in 2006. Yeah, so six years. That's madness. Um, and he's now, like, you know, the WBA bullshit champ. But he's finally fighting Proxer, so that's good. Um, and then hopefully the winner of that will fight someone like Felix Sturm or Dimitri Pirog. So I think middleweight is starting to get good. But anyway, Golovkin has been moved far too s slowly. Um, and the reason I'm, you know, emphasising all of this is because when Golovkin was an amateur... He beat guys like Andre Durrell, Lucien Boutet, Andy Lee, uh, the Cuban guy, Dis Dispania. Uh, Lucien Boutet and Andre Durrell, those were the sort of guys he was beating at amateur level. He was a world champion. He won silver um, Olympic medal. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. Six years to get into the elite um, level is ridiculous if, you, if you've come from that sort of level of, um, you know, amateur. So anyway... I really like Golovkin. I think he could be um, he could be one of the better middleweights out there. Uh, he's got 20 knockouts from 23, and he's undefeated. But uh, Proxer shouldn't be underestimated either. He's got a record. Oh, I was just checking this a minute ago, and I've already forgotten. He's got a record of 28 uh, with one loss and uh, 21 KOs. But his only loss comes to Kerry Hope which was pretty, you know, uh, out of the blue because I don't think anyone expected Kerry Hope to give, you know, to give him any problems at all when he did. Um, and Kerry Hope didn't even prepare for that fight properly. So I suppose we could, you know, um, put that on Prox's, you know, shoulders and wonder if uh, the same thing could happen. But Prox is a very good fighter. Um, I was, you know, Golovkin, he pressures his opponents he does walk forward but he's not a pressure fighter like a brandon rios or somebody like that he doesn't come forward and throw tons of body shots 
uh, like Chavez, you know, stays on his fighters. There's nothing like that. He comes forward endlessly, but that's mainly just because I think his opponents are afraid of being punched because because of the 20 KOs from 23. Um, so he comes forward, he stalks his opponents, but he's not necessarily a dangerous body puncher or, you know, uh, what's it called, like, pressure um, fighter. Proxer, he's very similar. He can also fight on the back foot, but he's also... Uh, a, a pressure fight. I mean, if you watch his fights against someone like Kerry Hope, Kerry Hope was doing all of the pressuring the whole fight. He was on top of Proxa the whole fight, and Proxa had his guard up and was landing, you know, not at will, but he was landing some very good punches. He also showboats in the ring a little bit, uh, which I don't think he'll be doing against Golovkin. But he also pressures his fights. If you watch and fights of him where he's going forward, he's really impressive. Just look at his knockout of Sebastian Sylvester, who he flattened in, you know, three rounds. So, well, stopped him. Um, so, I don't know who to pick in this fight. Some of the people I've spoken to have picked Proxa, and I think they're doing that on the basis that they think that Proxa is, you know, uh, due a big win, and Golovkin, maybe because of the six years, and not having taken the step up yet, and the fact that Proxa's had more rounds, which is, you know... I'm not quite sure how to explain this, but I think maybe they're thinking Proxa is going to... This is going to be his coming out party. And just as many people are going to say the same about Golovkin. Whoever wins this, that's their coming out party. Uh, you know, their name is going to be right up there with the, you know, the likes of Martinez and Sturm. And I'm not sure who I'm picking. I think it's going to go the distance, even though Golovkin, Golovkin's KO record would suggest otherwise. I think it goes the distance, I think it's going to be a war, and I think probably Golovkin snatches it in a very close fight. So I'm probably going Golovkin by unanimous decision, but, you know, I'm saying unanimous, but I mean close, if you see what I mean. Like, maybe I could say split decision, but I think Golovkin probably by two or three rounds, uh, but... Don't let the the one to three odds on favourite put you off of Proxer because this this is going to be a very very good fight. Um, so I'm going Golovkin on points.